my most recent video, I showed two forks attached to a matchstick balancing on the tip of another matchstick. By experience, you should know that it is difficult to balance something on a small base compared to a large base. For example, balancing on one foot is harder than balancing on both feet. In the case of the fox, it should be harder for the fox to balance on the tip of the other matchstick. So, why is this the case? Let's have a look. Interestingly, there are two concepts in physics responsible for this phenomenon. Center of mass and torque. Torque is a twisting or turning force. This is the force that allows you to uncover a cap from a bottle. Center of mass is the point relative to an object where all the torque in any direction is zero. Or you may have heard your physics teacher saying that it is the point at which all the mass of the object seems to be concentrated. Let us now apply these two concepts to understand why the fork is able to balance. When the fork sits on the tip of the matchstick, there is only two possible directions in which the fork can move. The fox can either rotate up or down or left or right. In the case where the fox can rotate left or right, I would have already prevented this from happening by placing the stick through the center of the two fox. This point is where the center of mass lies. As you can recall earlier from the definition of center of mass, you would expect no torque of the fox. Therefore, the fox don't rotate left or right, it's stable. In this case, where the fox can either rotate up or down, notice that a portion of the handle of the fork is behind the point at which the fox sits on the rim of the glass. This is crucial in order for the fox to balance at the tip of the stick. Applying the concept of balancing a seesaw to the fox, we can see that because a portion of the fork is behind the point of rotation, the weight of the portion cancels out the rotation of the other portion where the stick is attached. Therefore, this allows the fork to maintain balance at the tip of the stick. And in this setup, it allows the fork to be balanced at the rim of the glass. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you learned something new, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Fun fact, for the same reason why a gimbal is able to keep a camera stable, it's also the same reason why the fox can remain stable while I move my hands. Behind.